I even? Am I even? What's up? How's it going? It's Katie here. Quick little video of what I got at the Sephora VIB sale. I did not get a lot. I don't actually buy a lot at Sephora. I was very proud of myself because this purchase actually is what put me over the threshold to become VIB instead of just a beauty insider, which is what I have always been because I never spend that much in a year at Sephora. I just, I don't buy that much like really expensive stuff. So... I like getting sets like this around the holidays to try things, even though it might not be, you know, dollar amount, the best value. That's okay because it's an expensive item. You don't know if you're going to like it. You may never use the full size anyway, because I like trying lots of different products. So having smaller sizes is sometimes better anyway. So the first thing I got was this um, Becca Jet Set Glow. It has the uh, backlight priming filter, the first light priming filter, and then also the under eye brightening corrector. Oh, it comes wrapped so nicely. See, these are perfect sizes and you can take nice things traveling. Anyway, these are good sizes. I am excited to try these. This is very tiny, but also good travel size. How does it compare with my It Cosmetics? Let's look, shall we? It's definitely more salmon. That is like half. So yeah. But you know, it takes forever to use up a tub like this. So that is good. I'm excited. I really want to try those Becca products. The only Becca product I have is the... Oh, that's not true. <laughs> I have the Jaclyn Hill Champagne um, Glow Trio, but I just remembered I also have this, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in Pearl, which actually I really like. It's just like last summer when I would have used it, my skin was just not in a place where I felt like comfortable using it. Okay, I digress. Moving on. Next, I got the Makeup Forever Aqua XL Color Paint. So these are new. And basically I wanted to get this as an eyeshadow base. I got the M52. Well, it totally just disappeared. So yes, it is the correct skin colored one. Okay, cool. I'm excited. So what happened was I actually ran out of finally my MAC Painterly paint pot. And I don't know, I just wanted to try it. It looked cool. So hopefully this does it. So yeah. And last but not least, this was a total ridiculous splurge item. I don't know why I did this. I got the Victoria Beckham Estee Lauder mascara. Why? I don't know. I was kind of thinking about getting lash extensions, and this was supposed to be good for extensions, but I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get lash extensions because dust is expensive, and I feel like I won't like it the way I didn't like the lash lift. So... I'm really bad about mascara. I buy them and then I take like six months before I try them. For example, I got this when it came out and I haven't tried it yet. I really like the Estee Lauder Little, Bra bleh, 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 Little Black Primer. Probably should have repurchased this, huh? I don't know what I'm going to do about mascara. I don't want to open this because I don't want to open it right now. Oh my god. I really wanted some of the other Victoria Beckham products like the that glow, that $90 gold. Oh man, I would never spend that much, but I wanted it. It looked, and the, um, I want, you know what I really wanted? The eye coal with like the black and the nude. That's what I really wanted, but it was sold out or they didn't have it or something. <laughs> okay, that's gonna go in the drawer, but we're gonna try these other things. So hold on to your butts. I think I wanna try the purple one. Oh, it's got a nice little seal. That's nice. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like lemon. Did that do anything? I don't know. Hard to say. 
Oh, it's really creamy. Whoa. Love how things are so emollient when they're fresh. Whoa, it's really brightening too. It's got that bright pink in there. Still don't feel like it's quite enough. I mean, I never feel like anything's quite enough. This is my yellow color corrector. I mean, I think it's a definite improvement. I mean, I can still see them, but it looks bright. So here's the foundation and concealer, no powder yet. I doubt if you could tell, but I could tell there's just the teeniest bit of um, that lavenderness. It's like only, I think, 0.0001% like that I could tell. And I didn't feel like, it's not moisturizing, maybe I didn't use enough, but um, you know, I didn't feel like my foundation blended out any easier or anything. Um, it's not bad. I definitely want to keep using it to see if I really, you know, feel like it's, you know, doing anything. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, hi. Come here. Good boy. Hi. Oh. Oh, my good boy. Are you my good boy? Yeah, I love you. <laughs> okay, back to business. So far, so good. <laughs> Just a teeny tiny amount. It's very pigmented. Although I don't think it went up as far. It dries very quickly. I'm not sure if I got enough around the edges. Oh, hi. Yes, I know. Bye. It's very light. Actually, I think it's lighter than um, Painterly. Painterly is like, it almost practically disappears. This is brightening, which is good, except, I don't know, sometimes you don't want that, like, stripe of bright, you know? I, I, I try not to over-highlight that area. Feels very dry very quickly. Oh, cat hair. Let's put some eyeshadow on top of it. I'm just going to use my trusty Tartlet palette. So far, so good. Hi, come back for more. He's getting in the box with the paper and stuff. And take the purple and brown here. Hi, honey. Hi. Hello. <laughs> yes. He's uh, saying hello to the microphone. If you don't have cats, you won't understand that this is normal. And I wouldn't have it any other way. He is the loviest lover ever. Yes. And I would never want to take that out of him. By scolding him for jumping up here? No. 
So I was recently watching favorite YouTubers, um, Taylor, the Taylor, and this eyeshadow palette was in her that she regrets buying video. And she said that they just, she tried really hard and all the colors just muddy together. And I could definitely understand that because they're all extremely similar and they're very neutral. So it's easy for them to blend together. However, this is one of my absolute favorite, favorite palettes. And it just goes to show that, you know, we all have different opinions about things. So it doesn't mean that you can't enjoy watching someone's videos. Like I love watching her foundation videos, even though I'm not necessarily going to buy the foundations. We have different skin types. We feel differently about this eyeshadow palette. So what? Like, I don't think that the colors muddied together. Like I can see the brown here and the darker purple here. And it's like perfection for my complexion. I didn't mean for that to rhyme. It's perfect for my complexion and the cool tones and the purple and the green. I mean, I just, it is like, I have used and abused this baby. I love it. Well, I think that the eyeshadows went on really good. In fact, I think I can even tell the difference because I have been out of the painterly paint pot for a while and I've just been doing concealer and I found that my eyeshadows were really not sticking very well and they were kind of disappearing and they were kind of blending into nothingness and I can really tell the difference already just with the um, vibrancy and the way that they kind of stuck where I placed them but still allowed me to blend out the edges. So um, this uh, Makeup Forever Aqua XL color paint. I think that might be a winner. I'm I'm excited. I think that might be a good one. Always um, stay tuned for future updates because if my opinion about something changes that I've talked about in a video, I will uh, definitely let you know in future videos. I love the uh, these two light shades here. This one's more neutral and that one's more yellow and I just mix them. And they are perfect for right here. Yes. See, I love this freaking palette. I think it's, I think it's awesome. If you are like over 26, I would love to know if there is any product that doesn't crease under the eyes. Because doesn't everybody have that line right there where they're, it's like the lower lash line. So how do you get product to not crease in it? Because you put product there, there's a fold in your skin. I literally don't understand how people say things don't crease on them when everybody has that, right? Do, or am I the only, like, is it an older person thing? I'm old for, you know, YouTube. I need earrings. Okay, here's the finished face. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to see more. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. So, it is 12.45 and it's not getting any brighter. It is so dark outside. Again, and I feel like my room is just lit up like a disco ball with all of the lighting. And I bet it is freaking hilarious for anybody like coming by on the street to be able to like see in this really brightly lit room with this crazy person talking to herself. I love it. Anyway, okay. Wash them good. That's how I end up with fat hair in my eyeballs all the time.